Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. Uh, it's been about a week since I've been on and I figured I'd get on and tell you and show you what I've been up to. Um, I am going to insert a picture here of what I've been doing for the last couple of days. So around the pool we have uh, like river rocks uh, going around. We thought great idea, it looked great. And the pool's been in for about seven years. And it was great for like the first four or five years. And then the weeds started coming through. And for the last couple of years, it's been really, really difficult to weed that area. It's all rocks. Like I said, I'll, I'll put in a picture. So I got it in my head that I'm going to pull out all the rocks, put down more weed barrier, put the rocks back. It's hard, let me tell you. So if you see dirty fingernails, that's what it is. I've been, and it's so hot. <laughs> so hence the appearance. This is au naturel. I've been lugging rocks and uh, yeah, uh, it's poofy hair day. But I figured I'd take a, a break, a coffee break, and just quickly show you, because uh, I don't know when I'm going to be back on. I'm going to try once a week, but who knows. So, uh, I did finish Angelia's uh, test pattern. Uh, what a great pattern, but I uh, can't show it to you yet. So we'll talk about that another time. Okay, so, so the, uh, what I've been up to is little things for Amber's Mal, Charity Mal. I'm going to send all of these things to her, along with the crab and the chick that I did last week. So, it's all little bitty amigurumi. I have to say I was bitten by that and I think the reason is because in, you have a finished object fairly quickly and I think that's what it is. I still find amigurumi hard especially if there's sewing involved Ugh. but a lot of these were just really quick and cute. So the first, let me, oh let me see, they're not in order in any way. So you guys, alright first thing I thought I wanted to make something really easy so I made and I've been making these backpack buddies so I I made um, ice cream I think it's cute like itty bitty scraps which I got ton of and you make these so so far I've only made two I'm not sure how long I'll be making these because one, the mal is going to come to an end fairly soon. And two, I'm getting amied out, <laughs> to be honest with you. So this, and I believe all of these patterns are free. So this is called the Crochet Ice Cream Cone. And it is by, ooh, who's it by? The Friendly Red Fox. And she has, it's free and she get, has a, you know, a photo tutorial. Like, I mean... This is so easy, and like I said, you use little bits of yarn. You don't need a lot at all. So I thought the kids would like that, so I got that done. Then I got, oh, I thought of bookmarks. So this one, honestly, was the easiest thing ever. I came across this lady on YouTube. So it's basically two flowers with a chain in between. And so you would, sorry, all of my patterns are mauled because I've been I took them to the cottage this past weekend. So you basically, they go in like that, a book. So this is from Lake View Cottage Kids. She has a tutorial, a really good one. And then uh, on her blog is the written pattern. So I'll leave a link for that too. But basically, it's, like I said, it's a flower. And then you use buttons for the centers. Like, I mean, if it's five minutes, like not even, however long it takes you to crochet two flowers, like really, really easy. So I can make lots of these. So basically, and actually, these are not just for kids. These, so this one, I didn't put a button on the back, um, but I put a button just on one side. But these would make good little... Um, uh, you know when you buy uh, a reader, like somebody who likes to read, you buy them a book or a gift card. This would be a nice little addition to their to their gift. 
I think adults would like these too. I know I would. So that's cute. And then, what else did I make? And then I made, oh, this. How adorable, I know that you've all probably made these, but I'm a little late to the party as usual. But how adorable is that? Oh my God. And these literally took no time at all and very little yarn. Um, yeah, and so it's, uh, it's a free amigurumi pattern and it's from amigurumi to go. So, right there. So I'm gonna make a couple more of these and send them off. I thought that was really cute. Everybody likes mice, right? Really, really cute. And so fast. So I think that's why I was addicted because these things take no time at all and you get something to show. All right, and then I made another one. Amigurumi Bunny, free pattern. How cute is that? I mean, you could play, she put the ears the same way I did with the little bow, but I guess you could put, if you're, let's say, making a boy bear or boy bunny, you could put the ears going like this, right? Really cute and adorable. And again, it's free by, uh, where is it free by? Paintedcolorful.blogspot. So I'll leave a link to that too. I will, but look at that. Is that not adorable? It's so cute. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I made that one. What else did I make? Okay, um, I also made uh, this thing. It's a sleeping dino. And this is made with an itty bitty piece of um, cake yarn. I don't remember which cake it was. So it started in the blue, and it just happened to, the tail hop, this is where the color change happened. And then I made the legs out of that, the, the green as well. And then in the same cake was the yellow. So I made the spikes out of that. How adorable, and this took no time at all. It's a little stuffy, um, really cute. And it is also a free pattern by Sleeping baby dino crochet pattern and it's by Ikero Crochet but the crochet doesn't have a T at the end but I'll leave a link for that too honestly scrap yarn this was just like a little bitty piece of a, a cake left and it's so cute like honestly so cute Really, really well written. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. I might actually make a couple more because you can use up a lot of your scraps. So cute. So made that, again, free. Then, oh, then I think you guys, I showed you all the Hugo pattern, the Hugo the turtle that I did. Well, I took the same concept that she taught me and I created one of my own, but a nitty bitty one that's a, a backpack buddy. So and I took, again, scraps. So you see his eyes. Okay, my, yeah, my embroidery is not that great. But it's the same idea as Hugo. And then I just looped, um, I guess, because turtles do have tails. So I guess I looped a little thing there and I made a little one. So that one, I don't have a pattern for. I just kind of use the same same um, theory that, that uh, or same idea as um, Hugo and then just made it smaller. So we did that. What else did I do? Okay. And then I got into the bookmark thing and then I found the frog bookmark. So basically this frog has feet but I couldn't figure out what she was trying to say doesn't matter it doesn't need feet it's just a bookmark and he's adorable and again it's a free crochet pattern by heart hook home and again I'll try the feet again but it's probably me not knowing you know or I don't know not understanding but she's got a series of them she's got uh, and I plan on doing the rest I think she has a duck and a bunny 
um, and a pig, I think. So I plan on doing them all. But again, scrap yarn, really easy, and you know, it's a bookmark. So I did that. Heart hook home. So I uh, did that. And then the last one that I did, I found this. It's called the Teddy Bookmark by, who's it by? Uh, Speckerna Designs. I found it on Ravelry, but she does have an Etsy store, but this is not on the Etsy store because it's a free. It's a free Ravelry download. It's a Teddy Bookmark. I actually added feet to this one. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. Come on, focus, focus. Why won't you focus? Here we go. Look at him. He's so cute. The only thing that I did different was I added a little white patch to that. And I think it's because she used a different color. Like she used like a, a beige color and I didn't have that. So, uh, well, I, did, I had a beige in that, like, but not enough to make the whole thing. So I used brown. So how adorable is that? That's so cute, really cute. But I'm learning amigurumi construction, so I enjoyed this one too. So I made that. All that is going to Amber. <coughs> yeah, I, um, I've been busy. Uh, now, the other thing that I made was my daughter, I think I mentioned before, she has a new home. She is a cast iron pan lover. I do, I love cast iron too, <clears throat> excuse me. But I've gotten to the point with my issues that I can no longer lift a cast iron pan. So I cannot use them anymore. But I decided to make, she wanted a cast iron cover. I guess I should have brought a pan to show you. Hmm, I don't have anything here. To show you. Oh wait, there's a knitting needle here. Oh, of course I can't get it out. All right, so he, pretend this is the pan. So it's to hold the pan. So I made that one. I I watched a few people, um, and they all use cotton, and they there's different ones. You can do single crochet. You can do double, half double. Um, but what I decided to do was I made one, I made the outside, this one is single crochet. So I made one and then I went down a half a hook size and made another one. Slipped it in and then seamed the two pieces together with a little shell border. Um, and believe me, this is thick. It's double thick. Because I, when I was making it just with the, the one cotton or just the one with one strand of cotton I didn't think it was going to be heat proof enough so I made one inside the other so I, it's two and let me see if I can show you see there's one inside um, it's basically two and then you slip one inside the other and then just attach the two together and then you have this extra extra thickness. I'm very proud of this idea. Uh, I haven't seen anybody do that. So well, maybe they do, but I haven't seen it. So I made that one. This one's single crochet. Then I made another one. These are all cotton. This one I believe is Lion Brand 24-7 or whatever. This one I believe is Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Mm, I'm not sure. And again, this one is half double crochet. But I made this one slightly narrower. So um, I'll leave a link for one tutorial that I thought was very helpful. I'll leave it below. Um, and for the life of me, I cannot remember the channel name right now. But I'll leave the link for the tutorial that I found very helpful and then I just played with it. And again, I made two, one with it, one with this hook size that I was going to use and then I went down a half a hook size so it's slightly smaller slipped it into the other one and then attached it so but I made it this one uh, a little narrower because I don't know what handle 
like what size handle she has. So there's one. And I made this one a little longer as well. And then I had a little bit left over from the, the comfy cotton. Now I know it's not 100% cotton, but I, so I will tell my daughter that um, to keep it away from open flame. So I'm hoping it doesn't melt, but I made another one, but this one's even longer and thinner. So you can see it's thinner. So she's got a variety. I might make whip off a couple more because they're handy in literally five, you know, well, maybe not five minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Cause you gotta make two of them, slip one inside the other. And, but trust me, this is cushy, 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 cushy. So great, I love it. Um, and like I said, it's just a mindless thing and you just make it off and off you go. Oh, which reminds me, this sweater, do you guys remember this? This was the um, hexagon cardigan, well, the day date cardigan that I made. Um, I made it and I loved it and my daughter Kelly came home and she wanted it. <laughs> I'll insert a picture of her wearing it here. She literally walked off with it. So, which makes me happy because I'm making something that others, especially my kids, will use and love. <clears throat> so, I got to make another one. So that. And then the last thing that I I finished, I started it a couple of weeks ago and I would just do it occasionally. I don't know if you guys remember, I started making, I, st I want to use up my cakes because the cakes that I don't like that much, so I would just hold two cake completely different colorways together to see what I got. So to me, it's exciting to see what's coming up and I'm using up the cakes. Sorry, I seem to be losing my voice today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on. Okay, so... I made another one. Now, this one I made um, slightly longer than the last one. The last one I made, I made for the SPCA for the pets. This one, and I just realized after so many comments saying, you know what, these would make, be great for wheelchair-bound people. And you're absolutely right. And I don't know why I didn't think of it, because my father-in-law volunteers at a home and I've made blankets for them before, so why not make some more? So I made this one. Again, it's, oops. I made it um, slightly longer than the, so it's not a square, it's, it's a little longer. But I used um, two cake, or four cakes, two cakes of each color, and they were the Karen cakes, and one color is strawberry trifle, and the other one, rainbow sherbet. Um, so I just held them together, and this is what you get. I love this idea. I really love it, because I've got so many cakes, and um, you know, you, you sit there and you got one cake. Well, what are you gonna make with one cake? And I don't wanna buy anymore, because they're the ones with the harsh, harsh breaks in color, or, um, I think I've complained about the ink spots where they shouldn't be. So this way, you hide those ink spots. You can't tell. And look at how pretty that turned out. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So, anyway, um, yes. So I got that done. Uh, what else? Oh, my, my mom came back. Oh my goodness, it was so hilarious. Well, I shouldn't say hilarious. It wasn't hilarious for her, but she missed her connection in Frankfurt and the airline put her up in a fancy dancy hotel and dinner and whatnot. So she was home uh, one day later. Um, but anyway, she was an interesting thing for her. She came back and she brought this. Uh, where she was staying with her sister, her neighbor is an 88 year old who um, it's sad because she's alone. Everyone has died off. All her siblings. Um, she didn't mention children, so I don't know about that. Her husband. So she occupies her time making these. Look at that. That is made with thread. Thread. But look at how tight this is. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that one, and that one, again, 
thread. Oh, I don't I don't know how they do it. They just do. It's crazy. Anyway, so <clears throat> she uh she made she brought this back. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it besides maybe frame it and enjoy it just or just touch it and look at it and look at the itty bitty the itty bitty stitches. They're so tiny. Anyway, oh, you know what? I have some happy mail, but it's in the other room. So hold on, I'm gonna get it. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully you stuck around. <laughs> uh, the first happy mail I wanted to show you was, if you watch Laurel, you already know that Ma, the, her random comment picker picked me to win Sparks. This is her Amineko cat. And, oh my God, he's so wonderful. He's so soft. I don't know how she makes this like do you see how the head is slightly slightly like this I, I could never do that and it's not like he's wobbling because he's not it's not like he's just naturally wobbling there she did that he's so adorable and look look at her little butt button that's so cute but not only is he adorable she sent him in one of her her bags. Look at that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, sugar skulls is not my thing, but you can't deny the colors. Look at the colors. And it's red overall. I love it. And it's made by Laurel. Hello. And it's a perfect size, actually. It's a great size for a hat project or socks or amigurumi. It's perfect for that. So thank you, Laurel. That was very kind and unexpected. And he is going into my menagerie. So thank you. That's the first piece of Happy Mail. Now the second piece of Happy Mail is a card. Now this was completely unexpected. And when I opened it up and I saw what it said, I teared up because it's completely unsolicited. unsolicited. And when someone takes the time to send you something like this or even tell you something like this, it just makes you feel like glowing and it says I appreciate you oh my goodness and then inside is some stitch markers now again pardon the dirty fingernails I'm going back to New York on the rocks I don't know guys if you guys can see these are itty bitty turtles <gasps> I love them I love them I love them and then the blocks say knit this is from a viewer named Madonna Ballard. Now Madonna also has a channel. And she's, I don't even know, she's so funny. She's the kind of funny where she doesn't crack up. She just throws out one-liners here and there and doesn't crack up. I couldn't do that. <laughs> anyway, she has me in stitches. I watch her and she's so funny. Um, uh, especially the 10 non yarny things uh, video where she well some of it's serious so and I do I'm sorry for that Madonna but some of it is the part that she's talking about that her pets oh my god it's so funny I loved it um, but she also talked about she had a video where she talked about how she put out her her email for people to get in touch with her and she got a lot of hate mail and I'm like why would you do that I don't understand one She's fabulous. Okay, so she, the, the, the quality of it, they're through her phone, so the quality is not gonna be, you know, but that's not what you go to watch vlogs for, I don't think. Um, that's not why I watch her. I watch her because she's hilarious. Um, but for you to take time out of your day to send someone an email to tell them that they're ugly or stupid or whatever, what does that say about you? Like really, you don't have anything better to do than to do that. <laughs> I don't get it. And I don't understand it. So Madonna, if you're watching and you say you do, just keep up your own thing and disregard those haters. I don't know what is wrong with people. You just don't want, if you don't like it, don't watch. It's as simple as that. But I love you and you know, I'm a big supporter. So anyway, thank you, Madonna. That was very, very kind of you. Unnecessary, but very kind. So I got that and my rant out of the way. Now, 
I also got some Amazon Happy Mail. This is from a longtime viewer and longtime supporter named Karen. You guys all know she's one of the few people that has, well, not one of the few people, lots of people make me cry, but I don't post all of my crying on the video. Um, but I did post that one. She is the most. Like, she does it all. Like, right now, she's very heavily into the cross-stitching or embroidery. So, I follow her on Instagram. She's posted a few things. Amazing. She quilts. She sews. She made the Raggedy Ann and Andy uh, bags, which I love. And she's, like, just spoiled me rotten over the last year. She just keeps sending me things. And, you know, I made her grant, uh, scrap gan. But I still feel like it's not enough. But anyway, she did it again. She sent me a gift. So Amazon sends it in these little beautiful little bags, which I can guarantee you will be a project bag. Perfect for socks. But she go noticed that I was getting into Amigurumi, and she sent me this book. It's farm animals. So you get, and let me tell you, right away I want to make the mouse. I want to make the mouse only because it looks like a rat. I don't like rats. Well, I like I like mice and rats. It's their tails that just mm, creep me out. But the actual body and like that's okay. They're they're okay. It's the tails that creep me out. But look at that. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Karen, so much. As soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, the woman pays attention. <laughs> Again, thank you very, very much. It was so thoughtful of you. And uh, I will start working. I've got a million things that I want to start. And then the last piece of Happy Mail, because I'm already way too long, is, okay, it's a box of yarn. I couldn't, there was so much in here. I don't know how she packed it in this box because I couldn't get it back in. This is from Yolanda. Um, Oh, yeah, I think it, I think your channel's name is Yolanda Crochet Attic, I think. Yeah, no, Yarn Attic. Oh, but I'll leave the link for Yolanda. She, I love watching her. I think she's beautiful to look at. And she has a bit of an accent. She's from Lithuania. And it reminds me of back home. I mean, I'm not from Lithuania, but the accent is very, that mid, um, Eastern European accent. It reminds me of home. So when I get nostalgic, I just put her on. She's awesome. The things that she makes, I don't, I don't even know. And it's all like freehand, not following patterns. or It's all mostly amigurumi that I've seen. But she is so funny. She tells you funny stories and... And she's, she's just fabulous. So anyway, she mentioned that, that she liked this maple, uh, maple tea. So I sent her some, some tea, some coffee, a little bit of stuff. And she sent me back a box of yarn. And she knows that I can't get any of this stuff here. And I love this stuff. She sent me some, I love this cotton. And the color is burnt sienna. But, oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's red. I love it. Cotton. And then she sent me two, no, wait, 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 wait. Three of these. I love this cotton uh, in pink teal orange. <laughs> How creative. She sent me that. Oh my God, I love this stuff so much. Um, and then she sent me some ice yarn cotton, which let me tell you, I've never had this, but it feels really nice. I mean, I know they don't have colors, but it's like a salmon orange color. It's beautiful. And then she sent me some, I think this is acrylic. Uh, yeah, 100% acrylic. And it is, I love this yarn, strawberry jam. But she sent me four of these. Oh my God, could you imagine hats out of these? I just want to start knitting and crocheting with this just to see what it'll turn out like. Looks amazing. 
Anyway, she sent me four of these. No card, but she did send me a message saying, sorry, no card. <laughs> she forgot. That's okay. I love the yarn. Oh my God, I'm going to be busy forever. Um, thank you, Yolanda, so much. I love your channel. You make me feel homesick, and uh, I love what you do. Like, it's just, you're amazing. Thank you. Anyway, I think that's all, and it's way too long, and I do apologize. And, uh, yeah, I hope everyone's having a wonderful summer so far. I'm having a very, very, very busy summer um, in more ways than one. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have guests up at the cottage. My daughter, who is... Um, her significant other has three young boys from a previous relationship and they're all coming to visit this summer. I'm so excited. They're the closest thing I have to grandchildren, okay? So I am beyond the moon over this. Um, the three boys are absolutely fabulous, except, you know, like just especially the youngest one because, you know, you can just still maul him. He's, I think he's seven. And, but he's still at the age where you can maul, so I love it. So I'm getting everything ready, and we're, oh, I'm so excited. It's only like less than a month away, so. Anyway, uh, I hope everyone else is having a wonderful uh, week and a wonderful summer so far, and uh, yeah, we'll talk soon.